Well, Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign is now saying that it is actively participating in the recount initiated by Green Party candidate Jill Stein in Wisconsin. And we'll do the same if audits are opened in other states. And ABC's Gloria Riviera is in Washington with more on the reasons behind this decision and the immediate backlash from Donald Trump. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning, Paula. Well, the Green Party has raised millions of dollars for this recount effort, and while Hillary Clinton has not weighed in personally, her legal team says it will also participate in battleground states Pennsylvania and Michigan, if that's where Jill Stein does take this next. We must accept this result and then look to the future. Less than three weeks after Hillary Clinton's crushing defeat to President-elect Donald Trump, her team now announcing it's entering the fray of a Wisconsin recount. An effort pushed by Green Party candidate Jill Stein. There were lots of hacks taking place around this election. Clinton's general counsel Mark Elias says the campaign has received hundreds of messages, emails and calls asking for hacking claims to be investigated. Writing in a blog post Saturday, Elias says because we had not uncovered any actionable evidence of hacking or outside attempts to alter the voting technology, we had not planned to exercise this option ourselves. Adding now that Wisconsin's recount is officially underway, Clinton staffers intend to participate to ensure fairness. It's a rigged election, believe me. Trump widely criticized for stoking fears about the election's integrity. And we know it's a rigged system. 1.8 million dead people are registered to vote. Now the president-elect accusing Stein of using the fight as a fundraiser. And in a tweet this morning, Trump going after Clinton, saying she conceded the election when she called me just prior to the victory speech. And after the results were in, nothing will change. Here in Washington, a senior administration official has said the White House did not observe or uncover any malicious cyber activity aimed at modifying election results. President-elect Donald Trump calling the entire recount effort a scam. Dan, Paula. Gloria, thank you. Let's bring in ABC's Martha Raddatz, who's also in Washington, where she's going to be hosting this week later this morning. Martha, good morning. Good morning. So the Clinton campaign uh, has acknowledged that they have not seen any evidence of hacking and that there's very little chance that this recount could change the outcome. So why bother, especially given that this process has real potential to stir up some uh, difficult emotions? Well, in the Clinton camp's words, they're not bothering. Jill Stein is. Clinton's lawyer said that they did not plan on seeking a recount, but now that it's underway, they want to participate to make sure that the process is, quote, fair to all sides and that they're represented in any legal proceedings. So you say this is all on Jill Stein. Then I got, got to ask, why is Jill Stein, who got less than 1% of the vote nationally, why is she leading the charge on this, given that she has so little to gain? And is she somehow doing Team Clinton's bidding? Uh, well, Paula, Jill Stein's doing it because of this. Right now, we're talking about her and her party, <laughs> the Green Party, three weeks after the election. Uh, but to be fair, Stein says they're doing it to ensure fair elections and promote ref reforms, but the publicity doesn't hurt, especially as millions of dollars pour into the Green Party to support the recount effort. Yeah, no such thing as bad publicity, rule number That's one right. in PR, right? Well, we know that Ted Cruz is on your show today, Martha. He's been extremely critical of President Obama for, quote, showering love on Castro. Why do you think that President Obama worded his statement the way that he did? Well, I, I think to President Obama, an important part of his legacy is reestablishing diplomatic relations with Cuba. Like the Iran deal, it's a cornerstone of his foreign policy, and it's actually something he campaigned on back in 2008, promising to sit down with America's enemies. So it's clear the statement is part of his effort to keep warming relations with Cuba. But to many, including Ted Cruz, not mentioning any of the atrocities of Castro's regime is naive at best and offensive at worst. Dan and Paula. Yeah, he talks about the enormous impact of Castro and that he altered the course of the Cuban nation. You can understand how it would be offensive for some. Well, Martha, thank you. We know you have a big yeah, show Martha. coming up this morning. We'll see you later. That sounds good, Martha. She's going to be talking with Donald Trump's senior advisor, Kellyanne Conway, Senator Ted Cruz, and Senator Bernie Sanders. Plus, she will have more on the world's reaction to the death of Fidel Castro. It's all coming up on This Week right here on ABC with the one and only Martha Raddatz.